Hi lovelies, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Uh, today I'm bringing you some lovely scrapbooking pages and memorabilia packs from Relative History. So Sally has put together some beautiful work for us to use in our historical kind of memorabilia um, and scrapbooking pages. So if your kids maybe are doing projects at the moment, home projects on Titanic for school or if you are an enthusiast yourself and you want some way to display or to, to keep that information, this is a really fun way of doing it. So I'm going to go through what um, I'm going to be working with today. All the items that I've used are available, so all the paper items are available on uh, Sally's website. So that's relativehistory.co.uk um, and um, whatever else I use, so the trimmer or the glue or, or maybe a set of dies or something, as we go along I'll tell you what I'm, what I'm using and a, a kind of way you might be able to get it because most of the stuff I use is, is, is still fairly current. Um, okay, so um, for this we'll flip you around so then you can see the papers. So in this paper kit we are getting this lovely kind of almost like I would call it a topper style panels but these are really lovely to put kind of little pieces onto your your scrapbooking pages and they are just so lovely so we've got our uh, the Captain Edward Smith and then we've got a picture of um, some of the the crew and um, the posters of when it was um, uh, leaving certain ports and so on so and even like the cost of how much it was which is like amazing to think you could have got to America for seven pounds <laughs> madness hey so this is just like a really lovely kind of like embellishment piece um also we've got these really lovely and i love the textured paper that sally's used um it is the kind of mess hall uh lunch menu or the the menus and what i think is a bit, a little bit special about this one this was the day before the titanic sunk so the titanic sunk on the 15th now do forgive me enthusiasts if i get some of my facts wrong i've done some research but i have a memory like a sieve so i shall do my very best um also within these pack in in sally's packs we've got this these really lovely little kind of um, front newspapers and uh, paperwork style little pieces which are just fabulous to kind of embellish um, your work with and just that got that extra bit of um, kind of authenticity of, of, of the event and and I just love the whole kind of the replica pieces I think they're really lovely I've also got some lovely pictures and so these have been printed printed onto a, a high quality um, coated surface so it's I think it's uh, fo like photo paper um, so it gives it that really lovely um, high sheen like if you were having a photograph done so these are really lovely piece um, and some of the images you'll see throughout um, the the kind of memorabilia packs and, and so on. Be and, and that's because there is only a limited amount of photographs, information that we've got. So you'll find some things get repeated and, and then, well, that's not a bad thing. So these are lovely postcard size pieces and these are perfect for like kind of jotting down notes, journaling. Once again, it's that image. Again, these are just really lovely pieces. And if you are an enthusiast, like I, I did think about putting together a um, a memory book, but I just at the moment um, don't have the time to, to spend doing that. But creating some kind of memory book um, to kind of give to the kids, like, so this, this is something that happened and Here's the information about it, like how many people were on the ship, how many people survived, how it actually crashed and all of those things. So lovely kind of little way of kind of 
of, of um, adding into your journal pieces. So we have this beautiful paper, and I have taken it out of um, order, but that's fine. Uh, so we've got the, the beautiful kind of textured paper look. It's super smooth, but it just looks like it's got that texture. With the lifeboat and the Titanic wording, then we've got the boat. So these are 12 by 12. Um, they're on a heavy card stock, I would say 260 maybe, not quite, um, that could be wrong, it could be 300. Um, I'll have to double check with Sally, so Sally, let us know. I love, I love this piece. I love this kind of um, old, old, old kind of um, paperwork kind of piece. Uh, and oh uh, yeah, I just think it's lovely and, and the colours like the old newspaper it's just you know it's such a, a a fun piece to kind of work upon um so there's the front page i had them all skew with feed so you'll see this is the kind of collection we've gone through um our kind of postcard pieces our photos the, the little panels the little pieces and the the menus um then we've got like a picture of, of the actual Titanic at the bottom of the ocean, which is kind of, uh, it gives you kind of an eerie feeling, doesn't it? To think that what happened. And then once again, that kind of iconic photo of the crew. So we're gonna use a couple of the pages and I'm gonna try and make two scrapbook pages today. Um, and I want to do one kind of more based around the ship and one about, uh, one of the survivors, um, a lady called Maggie Brown. Um, she's known more so as Molly Brown. Um, she was a survivor and she was such, reading it and finding out about some of the survivors, she really kind of spoke out to me. The fact that she tried to get the rescue boats, so the, the lifeboats, to go back and rescue more people. You know, she was a woman that fought for women's rights. And even like after the disaster, she tried and campaigned to get help for those who were affected either financially, mentally. I mean, she she was giving almost like a counselling service, but before counselling was a thing. So the fact that this woman from the United States had... It campaigned and tried to help like so many people is amazing and all the other things I mean really do have a, a read about her because her whole life is amazing she ended up on the screen um, doing films and so on she was a very wealthy lady she the reason she ended up on the Titanic is she was visiting her daughter who lived in um, uh, Paris sorry I'm signing the letter P because Sometimes that's the way I jog my memory because I can see a letter but I can't get a word out. So she she was she was living in, her daughter was living in Paris and I believe just had a child. Um, and Maggie was over visiting and then Maggie caught was was informed that I think it was her goddaughter or granddaughter. Somebody close to her was was very ill. So she got the first boats the the first way she could get back to U the united states and so that's how she ended up on there which is it is phenomenal how she ended up there in the first place so she hadn't even set out to go on to the titanic it was the fact that she needed to get home and then when she was on the titanic obviously this devastating thing happened um and the fact that she survived and I know obviously the women and children came first when it came to the lifeboats and they didn't fill them as they should have done. But like, what a turn of events for her to do that. And then for her to kind of argue with, with the helmsman, the, the gentleman who was who was actually um, in charge of that, that lifeboat, to, to try and get him to go back for, for survivors. Just, I mean, it's, 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 it's heartbreaking and like amazing that she felt that passionately you know about other human life 
yeah i just i've got to say I, it kind of it it, it yeah it, it touched you know i i think it's amazing what she's done and and i didn't know any of this i didn't know any of this until i kind of started doing some research for doing a project and i think it's really sad that i never got taught this at school or i never got taught it in a way that i remember it because i don't and that's really sad and i don't want my son to kind of grow up know that this thing happened but not be able to kind of relate because it's not presented in a way that he can understand or that's captured him and i think it's a whole women's right thing because i'm all for that like of course and i think that's what drew me to her and it just I just think she was an amazing woman. Anyway, I've rabbited on for too long. So let's get down to some making. So I'm going to flip you around again so then you can see my work desk. And we will choose our two pages. And I think I'm going to go the one with the kind of illustrated Titanic for one. And actually, I do think I'm going to go for the lifeboat one. And I think that's why I put them at the top of the pack when I was doing my prep. Um, because... We do we do one at a time. Although I know what I'm like, I'll flip back and forth. Yeah, yeah. I think those two are the ones that I'm gonna I'm gonna go for. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the other sheets over to one side, and we're gonna start working on this one. But before I do, God, I, there's so much to go through. Um, I forgot about this lot. So this is the replica um, kind of memorabilia packs. Um, I've taken it out of the, the packaging um, already. Um, but that's because I was having a good look through it and seeing what I wanted to use. And actually, these replica packs are, are amazing. There's so much in them. So you've got these um, small little uh, kind of... Um, Little, oh, I don't know what size you'd call that. It's not quite. It's uh, bigger than a postage stamp, but it's a it's a really nice kind of size. Little pictures and and it's oh what is it? You, oh what's the, what's it called? Matchbook matchbox cards. I think that's right. Apologies, it's a little bit before my time. But look, so you've got this gorgeous kind of picture of the 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 famous stairway, which is obviously like featured in the film and stuff. Um and these are double sided they're on a coated cardstock it is this has got to be about 300 gsm so it's a really heavy duty thick um cardstock and actual pictures from the the kind of first class um uh accommodation and they had a gym and a swimming pool like oh my goodness a gym and a swimming pool and we've got some of these lovely little kind of note note um, cards with information of particular people um, I just think these are really nice now we saw in Sally's a similar kind of the white um, white star liners uh, advertising kind of campaign of like the the Titanic and, and trying to lure people to buy tickets to, to, to actually go on to it and then we've got these lovely little pieces and there's a lot in this pack so this was that this is the kind of the quite famous one i was saying like seven pounds um on the little pa panels this is like a replica of one of the posters it's just it's amazing to think that yeah that this happened and then there's a replica newspaper um of the time kind of going through the what the ship was like so there's a swimming pool the mess halls, the kind of dining areas, and that kind of iconic um, stairway, which is just, you know, was phenomenal. I just, yeah, I, and, and, and I haven't had a chance to sit and read this, but, but it would be quite a nice little read, I think. Um, uh, kind of mock-ups of what the, the actual iceberg was like, that actually caused the devastation. Just like I just think that's you know for 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 learning for school people learning and so on it just what a lovely kind of things to have so this is the second class um, 
dinner so they they had a they had a choice of uh, some baked haddock sounds not nice curried um, curried chicken and rice. See, I've got to say, I don't know why, but I was really surprised to see curried chicken and rice on there. Um, and but you can have boiled rice and uh, boiled or roasted potatoes, plum pudding, with, ooh, wine jelly. Sounds interesting. So it, it's really nice to kind of see that little kind of snippet of of what life was like then. And uh, the things that people, you know, these people would have sat and had something to choose to eat um, while they were on the ship. And, and, and like all these like lovely kind of um, pieces. I mean, there is tons and tons and tons. Oh, this is this this. I was like, oh, this would be fantastic in a in a, um, in a memory book. So one of the ladies that I know who. Um, does stuff for, for for Sally loves doing memory books and I'm sure she would love to kind of have this piece like being able to fold out and kind of look at each side just just amazing so we've got telegrams and so on more posters so that was the the kind of headline news like when it happened after it happened, one of the actual onboard ship um, kind of pieces, and then we've got these kind of uh, post postcard um, style. Let's get those out. Postcard style pieces, um, also on that heavy card stock. So that's the. Uh, they're just. So one of the, I just said that was second class, maybe. Um, and they're just, so you, they're double sided, so you can choose a side you want to use. And I, this was like one of their campaigns about like how big it was and just phenomenal, phenomenal. And I like all these, these kind of pages and stuff because they're just really textured and lovely so these are fantastic um, also um, another one was the read all about it the newspaper so this was the a copy of the daily mirror so this is this is a replica once again and um, I just part of me really wants to cut it up <laughs> and part of me really doesn't just because of once I've cut it up, I've, it's done. And then this is just, it's just some really nice memorabilia and I don't remember having any kind of historical information like this um, when I was at school. And you know, it just, I don't know, maybe it would have made it more interesting to me. I don't know. So anyway, so we are going to use some elements from there. Um, we're going to use our scrapbooking pages and we're going to create some lovely kind of, um, uh, just some lovely scrapbook pages with some information and so on. Um, to kind of capture that, you know, hopefully my son can look back on and kind of uh, enjoy it as well. And I do realise I've spent 20 minutes talking, so apologies. So I've got some pieces here that I want to kind of arrange onto my page. Um, and I'm also going to get some, where did I just put them bad boys? So I've got some of the distress tags. I think these will be lovely to put our kind of our notes on like information and stuff that I want to kind of keep so I'm gonna probably use this size maybe not so much the large ones so I'm gonna have a pile of those I've got some stamps next to me and I'll delve into them as and when I need to um, and yeah so 
Well, let's start arranging. So I'm going to start by first taking off my bottom edge. poster to be quite prominent so he's going right bang in the center and I am going to use my tape I'm going to use tape for some bits and, and glue for others um, I'm using tape because I don't want to put too much kind of glue at this stage because obviously glue is a little bit wet and I don't want to make the piece wet um, you can use obviously whatever you like so if you have this pack you can craft along with us and uh, you know I can't wait to see what you guys are producing with this so do please share on Sally's um, sharing page um, we'd love to see what you're doing um, with her papers and I hope you're enjoying them as much as we are in the design team. So I'm gonna just have that at a bit of a skew width at the top. Yeah, see. Because it was such a, oh, sorry, my printer's the little printer's talking at me. Shush you. That just gave me a right fright. Let's turn you off. There we go. Okay. Now, you might not like me doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I like the oldie worldie kind of thing. So I'm going to scrunch him up. And then I'm going to get some of my ink. Sorry, my, I've been trying to have a good sort out of my craft space. And you know when you put stuff away and then you have no idea where you've put it? I'm kind of a bit like that at the moment. <laughs> so I might get some slightly darker vintage photo on here as well. So this is old paper. And I'm just going to take that around. Because uh, those edges are a bit too kind of not quite how I want them to be. There we go. And I want it a little bit torn and a little bit ripped and that just adds to the to the piece. Now I'm gonna take the vintage photo. I might not actually have to add any more onto this. Let's let's just do a little dab and dab off. So I want to get some of those creases. I want to just highlight those. There we go. And because this is uncoated, obviously you can put on as much ink as you want and you feel comfortable. Uh, really kind of just gives it that kind of aged effect. Um, I was looking for. I'll pop you two to one side. I'm like, I'm happy with him. He's cool. He is cool. This is going to end up on the bit like that. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe, actually, where is it? There it is. I'm 
going to use this one actually. Typical me, I change my mind all the time. I have, a, I have an idea in mind. Um, if anybody's wondering, this is the Caterpillar Crop. I like it because it is, um, it has that little light. So if, if I want to see that I'm cutting through at the right point, I can. Also, it does real small slivers if I wanted to. Um, I think it's a really kind of good trimmer, although I do have many other trimmers too. Um, it's funny, isn't it? You only think you need one trimmer and then for whatever reason you end up with many more. I know I have. I ended up buying the, the Tim Holtz Deco Decar this one, which I love. We might get that out in a minute. Um, Because I like a guillotine as well. Now him, I think I want to mount onto some cardstock. Now, do I want it that kind of colour? Or do we want a light kind of colour? I think the light because it's dark. Let me grab some um, cardstock. I'm just going to bring out some... Yeah, we'll go for that one. So this is Crumb Cake. Yeah, this is Crumb Cake by Stampin' Up. From Cardstock. It's just got that nice kind of tone to it that I think kind of matches this. I'm going to bring in this. So we're going to stick that down and then I shall trim it out. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue on this. If my glue wants to come out. <sighs> right. I'm going to just pop you on there. There we go. Is that right? So this is this um, trimmer has a um, jaggedy edge cut, which I kind of like. And I'm just going to move it along a little bit, just there, so I haven't got the same kind of jaggeds. <laughs> same jaggeds do come out with some crackers sometimes. And obviously, if you don't have like the items that I'm using, you know, by all means, use what you've got. Um, you know, go within what 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 you've got and go with that. It could it would look perfectly fine on straight cardstock. Um, I just like any excuse to use that trimmer. <laughs> so there he is. There is our captain. I think. He's going to go around there and so I kind of feel like I need a smaller photo again. Um, I'm dreadful, I put stuff down, no idea where I put it. Yeah, this one. So I'm just going to take that, take that jaggedy edge off. Um, that one beautiful and you can see it cuts nicely look not a problem um, okay and then we're gonna have I think one of these baggage uh, like labels with some information on, I think. So I'm gonna raise him up, because um, I don't want everything flat. Um, so I'm gonna stick a couple of you on. He's gonna be around here, maybe. I just need 
that. So I'm going to add some kind of stamping and texture to this before we move on to sticking it down. Um, and then we're going to add some information to it. So I've pulled out some of my absolute, my fa favourite stamps to work with. Um, and it's generally because like this, this, this stamp set, like with the texture and stuff, I just love that, the just the textures you can get also I'm gonna grab a note paper so this is a note paper kind of stamp um, it's just really fun actually I want to kind of create like a bit of a note paper look so we can jot down some information so we'll use that as well let me get some books out So I probably should get my stamper artist or a stamping tool of some description out, but I'm not going to. Right. Now I'm going to use the dark vintage photo for this, I think. Um, and do you know what? I'm not worried if I don't get a, a crisp impression um, for this. Uh, I don't think it really will matter. I will get in a piece of copier paper just to pop that down. So, we want it to sit. Do I want it that way or sit in that way? I prefer it that way. Okay. So, Sorry if I get my head in the way. I'm just going to apply some firm, even pressure across the block. I'm not going to rock it. I'm not going to wobble it. There we go. Fat. Then, kind of on top of that, we want a couple of these. Small block. Same ink. Go in and just splatter. Okay, that's what we want. Lovely. Let's put those back before I lose them. Um, there. There. And then just need to add a little bit. Kind of distressing. So this is, this is the. There we go. I'm gonna there we go. And we got quite a nice kind of distressed looking piece. Um, just gonna pick up a little bit of that and take that round at the edge. Just darken that bit up a little bit. I think 
I must have used old paper on this one in a previous project because I seem to be getting old paper the colour. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. I'll have a, a good scridge of it. I'm going to grab some twine. Because it's got to have some twine, isn't it? It's like a baggage ladle. So I'm going to leave that like that. Lovely. Now let's grab a pen. And we are going to just write down some information. Now, apologies for my writing, um, because I'm not the world's neatest of writers. Um, also, I'm dyslexic, <laughs> so if I spell something wrong, please forgive. Um, so, Captain uh, Edward. So we know that this is where this is coming from. Put that to one side. Obviously you can add in some more journaling cards or pieces if you so wish to. So let's start. So I'm liking that. too much of this up. Maybe I won't bother with that one. Hmm. Right, let's get you down. Now I still want this to keep its shape. Um, I do have some glue gel somewhere got from my lovely lady of pin flare so this is a glue gel so it's it's like um, just uh, like a foam pad where this is different is it keeps its kind of structure but then also gives so if we're doing stuff like this, where I still want to keep that kind of crumpled look, but then I still want it to have a little bit of dimension. It's really good, so like that chunk that's in the center. Like that, there we go. See, it's still stuck and I've still got, whoop, Oh no, don't lose it. <gasps> she says too soon. I've still got that kind of that structure there. Let's just take a little bit more. Pop it on there. So that's not going to flap around. A couple of foam pads. So if you're into making like um, little pockets and so on, so this would be quite nice to kind of get a couple of pockets on. And can I just pop that under there? Might have to glue that down.
Okay. There we go. Oh, drop my lid. So that's the first scrapbooking page that we're going to do that we've done. Um, and for me, this was about capturing some of the information about uh, Captain Edward Smith. Um, and the next we're going to do is I want to capture some information about Molly Brown. So let me clear this and we'll come back and do that. OK, so second part. So this next scrapbook page we're going to do about Molly Brown. So her full name was Margaret Brown. She was a phenomenal lady. If you watch the first part of this um, presentation, then you'll know I spoke spoke about her and how much admiration I had for her. Um, I had some of my facts wrong. Um, she was over in Paris visiting her daughter who was studying there. So it wasn't, but for some reason I had something else in my head. But I'm only human. But she was phenomenal. So she, um, her uh, granddaughter was ill, so she wanted to get back to New York. Her books were the first available liner, and sadly it was the Titanic. Um, and in everything that I've read, the fact that she, she was one of the last w women to get into a lifeboat. She was in lifeboat number six. She was rallying to get other people on the lifeboats. That when she was in the lifeboat, she even like confronted the the gentleman who was um, crewing the boat to go back and get survivors. You know, back in those days, for for women to speak out of turn, obviously was was phenomenal anyway. So, just yeah, what she did was amazing. So I thought we'd capture some of um some of her onto a page I think so um, I'll show you what I've pulled out so I've pulled out one of the postcards I thought this was really nice um, and this will be really nice for us to do some journaling and some just some notes note taking um, we've got um, like this little paper cutting of um, another female who tells her story um, this 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 letter I found when I read it um, quite heartbreaking really so this is from um, one of the doc unions um, basically saying their disgust of the treatment of the third class um, passengers who were pretty much locked below deck whilst the ship was sinking um, and more um, more first class men were saved than third class children so you know that whole kind of class division was so rife then um and it was it was it was quite like upsetting to kind of find out and read about that um and you know the i'm so glad things have changed although we're still working on things so i just thought that kind of folded up letter would be really nice to kind of either work into the piece um, also uh, one of the um, like postcard style pieces of, of the, the headline of the paper um, I have one of the little cards with the, of the lifeboats and for all I know Molly could be um, in this one I, d I don't know um, um, one of the other ones with, with the actual Titanic um, it's got either side so I can choose which one I've also printed out a couple of um, pictures of Molly. So this is on like from a craft printer, and it's the brother um, VC um, five hundred. Um, it just it, it it prints like almost like little stickers. Um, so I've printed out a couple of pictures of her, as this is kind of like a bit of a bit of information about her. A nice large picture of the Titanic so I might not need the small one but we'll see and then it's that same poster we had in that first one um, it's just a smaller version of the, the little panels that Sally Brick has brought us I just thought those kind of things were would be nice to, to have throughout the project um, so first things first I'm just gonna pop my little um, pieces to one side because I'm gonna cut down 
my strip from my page and I'm going to do a little bit of inking and stamping onto it. Oops, a daisy. Apologies. So let's just take that sliver off. So I want to get some of this scripture on here um, and we'll use old paper to start with and then we'll see how I like that. So I'm just going to work across the page and I'm, I'm not um, worried if I don't get uh, like full um, kind of impressions because most of it is going to be covered up but I just want to kind of get some scribbly text over and around the piece. like somebody's made notes and I have got another stamp that I'm going to use as well I think I might change up the colour I'm gonna come that way go there I'm going to use um, this kind of like rose pink colour, oops a daisy, and we're going to get this kind of newspaper article type text. I'm just trying to pick out some of the tones that are in the paper as well. me some like a colour palette to work with. Okay I think just one more mm, yeah one more down there. So I've got some of those nice tones working through the piece. And then I want to add a little bit more texture. I think. So let's get which texture should we get? Hmm. Add another. So there's this um, almost a bit like rust. Um, so I think I'm going to go for I think a little bit more rusty. So I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Just a few blobs. Just getting a little bit of that kind of texture through. I'm not going mad with my colour. A couple of second generation stamps. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of that. And last thing. And I'm going to use 
different brown um, situation. This is like quite a light, light one. And I'll take the ink pad to the stamp. Entirely up to you which way you work. Um, I change my mind quite often. I'm just kind of bringing that orange down a little bit. something in that corner and obviously it's entirely up to you if you add ink or this kind of um, stamp and inks you know it's whatever works for you guys. I like to add a little bit of ink because oh, I just love a bit of ink. I love a bit of splatty ink and splatty colours. Um, I'm just going to go with the, the darker. doesn't matter if they're not perfect it's not meant to be is it um, can't help it I'll just go splat splat splat, splat, splat. <laughs> don't worry I shall clean off all my stamps when I'm finished so now I've added some like kind of colour and texture, um, we'll start bringing in our bits. We'll start layering up and mounting up. So I um, I cut out, you may have seen these before, it's uh, one of the Tim Holtz um, deep cut dies. Um, it's these frames, they're just really nice to work with. I use them for a lot of things. Um, and I will probably have to stick a bit of ink on those in a minute. Um, where should we go first? So I really want to stick this down because I think this is really kind of important. I want it so it folds out and folds away. So I think that's going to sit around there. And I think. Or should I swap it around? No, I want to see the front of the boat there. Might trim the picture down slightly. Yeah. So I'm looking at that kind of configuration. And then I want to, that's going to go on flat. And I'm going to might just trim that out so it fits nicely in there and oh, would that fit better in there that one fit better in there so we may have to I'll figure it out in a minute. So, I think that's going to be in. And so, it's that. So, we're looking kind of like this at the moment. Oh, shall I use the. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. So. So, I'm. I'm going to position this because I want the tell her story and I'm going to pop that there 
once I've trimmed this down. Okay, and then we can mount that. So, I'm just going to take a pair of scissors, just pop that down. This is like on a sticker. Um, I think I'm going to use the long one. Yeah. No problem now, then I'll get that bit off. This was like the, the backing of um, what came out of the thing, so I'm just going to use that to kind of almost as a guide. I say almost as a guide, and she pulls it back off again. So I'm trying to get that kind of central, then I can just trim these bits off. Um, if you don't have a craft printer like I have, um, just print it out onto normal paper, a nice wood cardstock or photo paper. Um, I just use that because it it works well for me. But these can that will fit very nicely together like that. Um, Position her and then just trim around that edge. I am not the world's best fussy cutter. I think I've probably told you that before. <laughs> stuck to my finger and we're going to do a little bit of inking to kind of hide well just to kind of blend that a little bit so she'll be on here somewhere I might pop that there so when I open it up I've got this letter and I've got that like little bit of hidden information that's like a little cheeky yeah okay so as you can see I'm starting to build up like um, my layout and where I want things to go so I'm happy with that I like that so first things first I need to attach my picture down um, if you forget like where you put stuff take a photo use your camera on your phone or something like that and take a photo um, so you don't forget your layout now I was going to trim this down I totally forgot until this second it is fine. So I'm going to pull that back. Now, so these ones I've made a little bit long. So I'm going to pull back the. And just push that over. And I'll do the same to the other side. So I don't have any of that tape hanging over the edge. Just take that and push that. Okay. So you are going around here.
beautiful picture and then I'm going to take the top bit there Position it so that side's down. So now I've got that that I can open up and go, and I, then I can still read it. Um, or I can leave it open if I want to. Um, entirely, you know, your choice. This piece is going on flat as well. nicely on. So I'm going to just trim this down. Now remember if you wanted you can kind of um, layer up and mount um, if you want to, here we go. Uh, okay, so we decided against using those and I've got you, you and you. So I need to ink these and I need to write my information on there and I'm going to pop you up. darker uh, vintage photo into here okay I'm just pouncing it up and down because I'm trying to create a little bit of texture now, the colour won't stay on the photo because it's um, got like, um, what's the word? It's a, like a coated, so it will, um, unless I use permanent, it will wipe off. So if you see like that there, and where's the cloth? <laughs> I not to use baby wipes too often but I can't see a cloth so that will just wipe away okay. okay 
so that's ready for her and that's ready me thinks a bit more texture I'm going to use my block I don't know where I've just put the other block on this one will do this one will do um, it's more of that vintage photo and just getting some of that you see look like it's just picked up some of that texture So there's one more thing I want to do to this then. And where are my crayons? So I've got some distress crayons. You may have these, you may not. I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to scribble a bit out onto the mat. And then I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. The nice thing about these is you can you can actually watercolour with them. Um, I'm I'm going to use my finger. And they've got this like amazing kind of sheen to them. Um, you might you, you might be able to see that it's like proper sparkly now. Yeah, these are really fun to use. You don't just have to. And it's a funny thing. People say crayons. It's it's not. It's not really a crayon like what the kids have. It's more like a water, a soft watercolor pigment. You can use it so many ways, but this is just like a really nice, kind of fun way of using it. So now I've got my frames kind of a bit grungied up, a bit sparkly. We can stop in those together. Now, where is my picture? There it is. So I'm going to lay this down and pop that over in there. Do I need to do it the other way maybe? Um, yeah, there we go. So that's in perfect. Actually just going to use a bit of double sided tape to hold it in place. lovely framed picture and I am going to pop it up with some foam pads Still got the tell her story, that's what I really wanted in there. Let's do the same for this. Let's pop this over there. There we go, it's not straight, not in. A bit of double, so well, you could just use normal tape, it's just this is what I've got to hand. Um, there we go. Oop. Don't want that bit showing, so I'm just going to pull that back, tuck that in, snip that off. And we've got that 
lovely framed picture. well if you notice I'm just taping that over that edge just to give it a little bit more security I'm going to tuck that under there Go in. There we go. So this is looking nice now. This is looking really nice. So the last bit I want to do is fill in our little postcard with um, some of Molly's information. Um, so. I'm going to call her Molly because that's what um, the, her story and information I've got it says that she was like, she was known as Mo the unsinkable Molly Brown, which is amazing. Because um, I think that shows like her spirit, the kind of person she was. And we'll put her date of birth. So it's the 18th of July. 1867. And she did survive the Titanic. Um, she lived for quite some years. Till the 26th of October. And that was 1933. I'm just going to put here because I really like the her kind of, she's known as. The unsinkable. do I want to put I want to put she was in lifeboat six And we'll put Titanic Survivor. Yeah, one of the reasons she survived as well is because she was a first class passenger.
So I'm going to put here Broadway because I just want to capture some of the um, bits that happened to her kind of after. So there was a Broadway musical made of her, her life story. Um, in 1960 and the film in 1964 and they were both titled The Unsinkable Molly Brown which is kind of amazing. I've still got a bit of space if I want to come back and I want to add a bit more information. Um, so I'm going to attach this to my panel here. So I need to be careful that I don't put my tapey stuff to, oh, I've just probably, I've just done exactly what I didn't want to do. Too high up. Ignore that bit of tape. So position that around there. when I open it up I've still got that that I'm not happy about so I'm gonna fix that somehow if I squeeze that tape down too much it's not gonna come off there we go savable absolutely savable so there we go so I've got this this information about kind of the passengers and how they were treated and and like the uproar afterwards and then I've got this lovely kind of montage about some information about Molly and um, uh, her kind of role without in saving people and I'm just gonna Make some more bullet points here. Because I think we can add about her actually um, and her help. Da, 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 da. So I've just put here she helped others to evacuate the Titanic. Um, she started a survivors committee that's amazing she did that to try and help like the uh, the second and first class I'm sorry second and third class people who survived um, just yeah phenomenal and like helped with some informal counselling what a wonderful person so there we go there is a capture of um, Molly and her role within what happened on the Titanic and 
also uh, uh, just a small capture of um, Captain Edwards. Um, just just a small piece that I just thought was quite nice to put together. So there is two pages um, of Titanic um, memorabilia or um, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Just historical memory keeping. Um, I think this is going to be a really nice way to kind of explain to my son, um, like when he's old enough, um, who these people were and what role that they played in the fact, you know, to try and make it a little bit more interactive with like these kind of pieces I just think is is really nice and like the texture and yeah I love it so guys thank you so much for joining me today I know it's been a long one so I hope you had a cup of tea ready um but remember you can pause this and come back to it any any time you want but so um thank you so much yeah it's been great fun this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. If you have any questions, drop us a line. Happy to help. And you can purchase all of these lovely memorabilia um, scrapbooking pages and uh, extra bits from Sally at Relative History. So hope you can join us. And I really hope you do, do create something and share it with us because we'd love to see it. Anyway, thanks very much. Take care. Bye.